वेलकम बैक है सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शोइंग यू सम गेम प्ले ऑफ द लास्ट ऑफ अस पार्ट वन रीमेक रनिंग ऑन माई शामी पैट सिक्स यूजिंग गेमिंग प्रोजेक्ट एंड वन प्ले एंड्रॉइड क्लाउड गेम स्ट्रीमिंग सर्विसेज आई हैव द आली प्लान सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दीज सर्विसेज यू नीड टू ओन द पेड गेम्स इन ऑर टू प्ले दैम यूजिंग दीज सर्विसेज बोथ ऑफ दीज सर्विसेज आर बेस्ड इन इंडिया विल बी यूजिंग दैम मुंबई बेस्ड सर्वर सो फर्स्ट आई एल रन लास्ट ऑफ अस ऑन गेमिंग प्रोजेक्ट देर इट इज नीड टू सिलेक्ट द प्लेटफॉर्म है ओनली स्टीम प्लेटफॉर्म इज अवेलेबल This game is actually available on Epic Game Store as well. Home by server. Will be signing into my Steam account. My tab is connected to a 5 gigahertz band Wi-Fi channel. Stream started. I'll show you the stream settings. Video quality set to high. Video FPS set to 60. Sign into my Steam account. I'll just scan the QR code using the Steam Android application. Okay, so an update is required. Its size is around 14 GB. Waiting for the update to complete. Download speed is around 388 megabits per second. It's increasing. So guys, I was not able to update the game. Got kicked out due to inactivity. This error popped up. You did not sign up in time. This is not my mistake. A game update was pending. Without this update, I could not start the game. Very disappointed with gaming project. They need to look into this. Now I'll be running the game on one play. This is the Android client of One Play. Selected Steam as the platform. Check the settings. Show gameplay settings before launch. Play now. Let's set the resolution to Full HD. We think enable 60 FPS. Set the bitrate to 30 megabits per second. Advanced settings. Show start setting enable. It will show us the performance overlay. Start the stream. You can see the performance overlay. Full HD resolution. Average network latency around 40 milliseconds. Need to sign into my Steam account. Again, I'll just scan the QR code using Steam's Android application. Location of the server: Mumbai, Maharashtra. Tap on Accept. Okay, game is updating even on one play. Same update, 14 GB in size. I hope the update process completes soon. Don't want to get kicked out. Update complete. Just downloading my cloud saves. You can see the status. Up to date. Start the game. There you go. Game started. This is how it should have been on gaming project. Okay, so game is compiling shaders. I need to wait for a few minutes. Shaders are getting compiled quickly. Left behind DLC is included with the remake. Shaders for it are also getting compiled. In the meantime, I'll just show you the game settings. I've connected my DualSense controller to Xiaomi Pad 6 via Bluetooth mode, and it is working with the service. That's good to see. Display settings with the Ali plan. One Play servers come equipped with GTX 1080 GPU, Full HD resolution. Scaling mode, I'll just set it to. FSR2 preset set to quality. That's it. Apply the changes. Graphics setting using the medium preset. Game will be consuming around 5.7 GB of VRAM. Available VRAM is around 8 GB. I'll just quickly scroll down. Most of the settings are set to medium. A lot of settings are available. They load on the CPU and GPU. Is shown on the right side. I'll be running the campaign of Last of Us, not its DLC. This game is demanding on both CPU and GPU. I'm not expecting 60 FPS on one play. Yeah, there's Joel. Here we're getting around 36 FPS. Take out this creature. It does not react to our flashlight. Stealth kill. Check out the input response. Very responsive controls. Getting an average latency of around 36 milliseconds. More creatures here. Take out this one. My companion should take out the other one. Where is my companion? Yes, test. Let's head back into the city. Check out the input response. 
by responsive controls no perceivable input delay this should be the way out just a closed room my bad go upstairs there's a way up finally drop down this area is very demanding if we start to 30 i told you Switch off the flashlight and press the right hand lock stick. Won't you ask Bill to get you some of them air pressers? They weren't expired, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> 30 to 40 FPS on one play. This is the game running using medium settings. Guys, I have tested this game on my Steam Deck. It's getting an FPS within the range of 25 to 30 with the low preset FSR2 set to performance. At least the game was playable. So demanding. I need to find a plank. Drop down. Here's the plank. Is it here? Here, pass it to me. Tess will grab it. It's a bit heavy. I think I can handle it. All right. Make my way back to the top. Here you go. Close. Heading to the camp. For a stable experience, better to cap the FPS to 30. Let me check the in-game settings. There may be an option for this. In the display settings, we have the frame rate gap settings. I have set it to 30. Apply the change. There you go. FPS got capped to 30. So guys, I'll end the video here. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.